Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. We are running a free online lessons in mathematics and other subjects for senior secondary schools and those preparing for SSC, GC, NECO, JAMP, NAPTEP, etc. It is also ideal for those in SS1, SS2, and SS3. So tell your classmates, your neighbors, your friends, your uncles, your aunties, your younger ones to come here and enjoy free lessons for everyone. This is tutorial two in the lesson series. In the tutorial one, we started with the laws of indices and we did up to about four examples using the laws of indices. In today's edition, we will continue with more examples concerning laws of indices. All right, let's move on to example number five. So still on laws of indices, all right, example five now. Example five says that six raised to the power minus three. Solve for six raised to the power minus three. From the loss of indices, six raised to the power minus three is the same as writing one over six raised to the power three, which is also the same as writing one over six times six times 6 which is the same as writing 1 over 216 6 times 6 times 6 is 216 so that's for example number 5 let's go to example number 6 now example 6 and this one says that 2 over 3 raised to the power 0 2 over 3 raised to the power 0. Of course, anything raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. It's one of the laws. Anything raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. Simple. All right, let's move to example number 7. Example 7 says that 6 square multiplied by 3 raised to the power 0 times 6 raised to the power minus 3 then all these divided by 5 raised to the power 3 divided by 5 raised to the power 6 okay all right we're getting to a much more complicated ones now here we're going to apply multiple laws of indices to solve this problem so let's go ahead so let's move on 6 raised to the power 2 multiply by instead of writing 3 raised to the power 0 i guess you know what that means 3 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 we're just right going to write 1 times instead of writing 6 raised to the power minus 3 we're now going to write 1 over 6 raised to the power 3 then all these divided by, instead of writing 5 raised to the power 3 divided by 5 raised to the power 6, we're just going to write here 5 raised to the power 3 minus 6. I believe you know what I'm doing. 5 raised to the power 3 minus 6. We are subtracting the indices as we divide. Okay, and this is equal to here this is the same as writing 6 square divided by 6 raised to the power 3 i believe you know what i'm doing all these divided by 5 raised to the power minus 3 okay let me take it up all right let's continue from here now we have 6 raised to the power 2 divided by 6 raised to the power 3 now all this is being divided by 5 raised to the power minus 3 okay now this is the same as writing this same as writing is equal to 6 raised to the power 2 divided by 6 raised to the power 3 divided by this 5 raised to the power minus 3 we're going to write it in this form. I believe you know what I'm doing. All over 5 raised to the power 3. Okay. 
Okay, let's move on now. Our examples are getting more and more sophisticated. So we now have 6 raised to the power 2 divided by 6 raised to the power 3. All these divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. And this is now equal to... Now, 6 raised to the power 2 divided by 6 raised to the power 3 is the same as writing 6 raised to the power 2 minus 3. I believe you know what I'm doing. Then all this divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. So 6 raised to the power 2 minus 3 is the same as writing 6 raised to the power minus 1. Then divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. Okay. All right, let's bring the final expression down here. We have 6 raised to the power minus 1 divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. I believe you know that this 6 raised to the power minus 1 is the same as writing 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. So now let's see. All right, let me bring these ones down here. 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. Now this is equal to... Now in mathematics, when you have this kind of division, we can express this as 1 over 6 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 3, 5 raised to the power 3 over 1. All I did was to invert this one and convert this one to multiplication. I inverted this and I converted this to multiplication. So this becomes 5 raised to the power 3 over 6. And 5 raised to the power 3 is 5 times 5 times 5 divided by 6. Now let me take it up. Now 5 times 5 times 5 is the same as writing 125 all over 6. A long one there. Then our examples are getting more and more complicated. And as we go on, we will see more and more complicated examples. So let's go to example 8. Example 8 says that simplify. Simplify square root of 2, 7 all over 9 square root of 2 7 over 9 okay multiply this 9 by 2 and add it to 7 multiply this 9 by 2 and add it to 7 and then let's do that 9 times 2 18 18 plus 7 that's 25 25 over 9 that is 25 over 9. Please make sure that this root sign covers even the 9. So it's 25 over 9. And um, this brings me to another topic called sword. This is also the same as writing sword 25 over sword 9. And this is the same as writing 5, 5 over 3. Square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 9 is 3. Period. Now let's move to example 9. Now example 9 says that 64 raised to the power 1 over 3. 64 raised to the power 1 over 3. 64 raised to the power 1 over 3. Now following our loss of indices, this is the same as writing cube root of 64 the cube root of 64 this is the same as writing the cube root of 64 following the laws of indices now this is simply telling us that there is a number that we multiply by itself three times to give you 64 and that number is what four four times four times four give you 64 
cube root of 64 that is what it means it means that there is a number you multiply four by itself three four times it's three times sorry to give you uh, 64 and that number is four now let's go to example number 10 example number 10 says that 216 raised to the power 2 over 3 divided by 81 raised to the power 3 over 4 all right 216 raised to the power 2 over 3 divided by 81 raised to the power 3 over 4 this is 3 here 3 over 4 okay so let's apply the laws of indices now let's break it down it's going to be the cube root of 216 all of these squared divided by the fourth root of 81 fourth root of 81 all these raised to the power 3 all these raised to the power 3 so sorry here is cube root cube root cube root okay now this is telling us that there is a number that you multiply by itself three times and it gives you 216 and that number is 6 so we raise that number to the power 2 divided by here we have 81 this is 81 so it's saying that there is a number that you multiply by itself four times that gives you 81 and that number is 3 and you raise it to the power 3 here all right this is same as writing 6 square divided by 3 times 3 times 3 and that is 27 so this is same as writing 6 times 6 is 36 divided by 27 and this is also the same as writing 4 over 3 now 4 over 3 here means that 9 into 27 you have 3 and 9 into 36 you have 4 so the answer is 4 over 3 all right let's go to example 11 which says that find x find x if x raised to the power x raised to the power 1 over 5 is equal to 2 find x if x raised to the power 1 over 5 is equal to 2 okay now we're told that x raised to the power 1 over 5 is equal to 2 all right let me show you what you're going to do using the laws of indices x raised to the power 1 over 5 is the same thing as writing root x of 5 is equal to 2 root x of 5 is equal to 2 next thing we're going to do is to move this root sign 5 from the left hand side to the right hand side we're going to move this root 5 sign from the left hand side to the right hand side but as soon as we move this root sign from the left hand side to the right hand side it becomes 2 to the power 5 it becomes 2 to the power 5 let me show you so we're going to move this root 5 sign from the left hand side to the right hand side so it becomes 2 to the power 5 so therefore x is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 now this is made possible because the multiplicative let me put this way the multiplicative inverse inverse of 1 over 5 is equal to 5 and that's why when you move the root sign from the left hand side to the right hand side it becomes whatever you have on the left on the right hand side will be raised to the power 5 whatever you have on the right hand side will be raised to the power 5 all right now let's let's go to example 12 example 12 says that solve for x solve for x 3x cube 
is equal to 24. Right, let's bring it down. 3x raised to the power 3 is equal to 24. Now, the first thing you do is divide both sides by 3. 3x cubed is equal to 24. So you divide both sides by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 will cancel 3. And 3 here you have 1. 3 here you have 8. So you now have x raised to the power 3 is equal to 8. Let's move on. Take this up. Okay. So we now have x raised to the power 3 is equal to 8. So now I'm going to move this power from the left hand side to the right hand side. As soon as it jump the equality sign, it becomes the cube root, becomes the cube root of eight. So x raised to power, so x sorry, is now equal to the cube root of eight. So the cube root of eight is equal to two. That is two times two times two. So that is all for today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel thank tell your friends your classmates your neighbors your uncles your aunties to join you next time you're watching this lesson thank you very much for watching god bless you